What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. So we got to talk with us, fams. I'm not going to lie, man. I thought Complex was over. I thought they were over, right? I've been seeing them catch L after L after L. Then Joe Budden leaves, right? Not only that, you got Tentacion. He's cursing him. He's spawning demons in the restroom. And most of the people watching, you were just hoping that DJ Academics was going to hit them with the KO and just rip the heart right out of Complex. Well, well, that's not happening, man. The homie Academics is back, and they decided to bring back everyday struggle without Joe Bud. Now, most of the younger people out there, you guys probably watch the show, and you're like, who the hell is this other dude doing fitted cap battles with academics on stage, who the hell is this dude? Well, I'm here to let you guys know, man, the guy you guys are watching today is Star. He is a legend in hip-hop. Now, with Everyday Struggle being back, a lot of people are like, should I watch this? Should I not watch this? Because everyone's been shouting, no button, no show, F-Complex. That's just what it's been, right? I had to tune in today, man. I was on Twitter, and I'm looking around and stuff, looking at the trending topics, and I see that Star was going to be an everyday struggle. And my face lit up. Like, for the people that don't know, Star is someone that has inspired a lot of people in hip-hop, man. Like, if you think academics is the father when it comes to YouTube commentary and hip-hop, please understand that Star is his daddy. Like, that's just what it is. Star is someone that has inspired myself, Joe Budden, Charlemagne, academics, Ebro, and the list goes on and on of all the different people that cover hip hop that are combative, funny, and critique. Now, I love Joe Budden, and I'm not someone that just started to watch the Joe Budden podcast when he was introduced on Everyday Struggle. I was listening to the Joe Budden podcast when Joe, Rory, and some other chick, I think her name starts with an M, it was some thotty chick that was boning everybody, but that's neither here nor there. Now, here's the thing. I believe that the show is going to be five times better with Star, but here's the problem. I don't think the show is going to be as popular as it once was because people have already made their mind up, man. People are still rocking with the no Joe, no show, and that's the way it's going to be for a lot of them out there. Now, any area that you thought Joe excelled at on Everyday Struggle, I'm here to let you know that Star is able to do that five times better. And that's no knock to Joe because I believe Joe Budden is in the top five most entertaining people to discuss hip hop. But Star is that much better. Man, I'm watching the show today. Academic starts to get all sentimental and he's paying his respects to Fredo saying rest in peace and this and that. Man, this dude Star starts laughing. That's how outrageous this guy is. Someone just died a few days ago and this dude just starts clowning academics because he feels that he clowned fredo when he was alive so therefore how can you be feeling this way about him now now that's not the way i feel because i understand the whole entertainment and everything but that's the way star sees it and i'm watching this and i'm like yo man this dude is crazy here's the difference between star and joe star doesn't want to hang out with rappers or at least he appears he doesn't want to he got on academics today for being in the studio with rappers. Even though he's making his mixtape, he's like, look, man, why are you hanging with rappers? Therefore, how can you even be objective? You're a fan. So therefore, if you're looking at this situation with clear eyes, Star is even more or less industry than Joe. Like this dude is going to say things that Joe wouldn't even say. Someone like Joe Budden's not going to bash a 50 cent. He's very reluctant to speak about an Eminem. This dude, Star, just doesn't care. He's going to fly off the hinges on anyone and everyone. Now, I don't know if you guys recall this, but a lot of times in everyday struggle, when it came for Joe to speak about a younger artist, he would go, uh, I don't want to talk about that. He would just dismiss the topic. I perceive that as, okay, this dude has no knowledge on what he's talking about because there was times where he actually admitted that he didn't listen to the music. So if you're not listening to someone's music, how can you even discuss the topic? How can you even critique the artist on their music when you're not listening to it? What are you doing on a debate show 
debating about a subject that you have no knowledge of. Now, this is my only critique of Joe. Everything else I love about him. He's great. But for the people that want to make an excuse for Joe on this topic, please understand they knew the topics of what they were going to be speaking about the day before. They also had show prep the morning of the show. Towards the end of the show, they stopped doing show prep because there was so much toxic energy going on. But that's just what it was. He had ample enough time to study the subject that was going to be talked about. Now, if you're part of the crowd out there that dislikes academics and boy, when you go to Twitter, it's like everyone hates him. man. I was like trying to do some research and to see like how people were feeling about the show. And it's looking like like people just want star to rip him apart. Now, if you're part of that crowd, then you're going to love star. Now, if you're part of the crowd that was first viewing everyday struggle, when you guys were like, oh, man, Joe Budden's too hard on academics. He's too hard. If you're part of that crowd, then you're going to hate what's going on right now. Now, there's people in the middle now, but they were most likely on the left side at the beginning. Now they understand that there's actually a dynamic. And I believe that Star brings that dynamic. And not only that, this is day one. And the chemistry seems to already be there. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Like I said, this is just my opinion. This is my observation from this whole situation. I don't have a horse in this race. I'm one of those people. I can see the whole situation from the clouds and how it's going to come together. And I think this is probably going to be a better show than it already was. But I just don't know if it's going to be as popular as it already was. And there's too many things to play, man. You got YouTube sub box problems and... A lot of people have already tuned out. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, and I'm out.